Hi, Jeremy Cohen here for Make Your Fiddle Swing. You know, over the years, I've been asked many, many times how I've learned to improvise, how I've learned to play in genres outside of classical music. And I think that this book is my collection of ideas, of tools, and of, you know, devices for how to learn to play in other styles of music outside of classical music. It's called Make Your Fiddle Swing, so it, Im it implies, you know, jazz and swing styles. But I think the information in the book will share a larger group of ideas in moving outside of the box in which you're trained into being able to play in multiple styles and multiple genres with many different types of musicians. It just opens the door to the world of music. And so in this book, there are 15 tunes with written out melodies, improvisations, and chords. So you can learn how to craft a melody inside of a swing genre. You can learn my improvisation based on that tune, and you can use the chord symbols to develop your own improvisations using the audio tracks that accompany the book. There are streaming tracks with a live musician band that you can play along songs that are in the book at a slow tempo for practice and also at a faster performance tempo. And there are also tracks that just have the backup tracks of the band that you can play along as the soloist with your own band. So this is a great tool for getting repetitions in, practicing stuff over and over and learning and training yourself using the tips in the book on how to improvise and how to play inside a genre that may be new to you. Lots of ideas. So remember, it's your band. You get to play along with them. You get to stop, you get to start over, and you can do all the repetitions you want all the way through the night. So also, there are tips here called sidebars about my thoughts about vibrato and certain styles of music, where it works, where it might not work, how to use your technique to produce better tone, how to develop certain kinds of licks that speak to a certain style of music. In this book, we focus mostly on jazz and swing, but I think the information reaches a lot farther outside of that genre because you can use these tips for playing in a tango style, you can use these tips for playing in bluegrass styles, and you can also just learn to become a better jazz musician on your instrument. We're going to discuss Way Down Yonder in New Orleans. Now, of course, the chapter on that tune has the melody and it has also a duet with two separate parts that you can learn to play and practice. But the first thing we're going to do is take the melody and we're going to use the play along track to practice the melody at a slow tempo. It goes something like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Great. Now that I've practiced with a slow version, the trick is how to get from the playing the tune at the slow tempo 
up to the speed of playing it with the band track at the regular performance tempo, which is quite a bit faster. So I've practiced the melody at a slow tempo. Now I'm going to take my metronome. I'm going to figure out where the slow tempo is, and I'm going to work my way in increments of, oh, perhaps six or eight clicks on the metronome from the practice speed up to the performance speed. And after I've done that for a little while and I feel a little more confident to go ahead and try playing along with the band track at tempo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that track a whirl. Let's give it a try. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now that we've played the tune in the slow and at performance tempo, I'd like to start working on some elements of the song, for example, rhythmization of the melody. I can take that band track and I can replay the melody of the piece, but I can start to use something called rhythmization and express the melody differently than it's printed on the page, largely sticking with the notes. In other words, I'm not going to try to create an entirely new melody or a fully improvised line, but I'm going to use the data that's on the page using the melody notes, largely, and I'm going to re-spell the rhythms and sort of make up my own patterns to, uh, to express the notes of the chords. And it's, a, it's, an, it's an improvisation of sorts, but it's rhythmically based. So I'm not doing a lot of exploration on new notation, but I am exploring heavily the ideas of rhythmizing the song. Let's give it a try. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> job. So now we've taken Way Down Yonder in New Orleans, we've worked on the melody at a slow tempo, we've practiced increasing the speed on the metronome up to the performance tempo, and then we've played along with the band track on the melody at the performance tempo. In addition to that, we've taken the uh, melody and we've done a rhythmization of the melody, using the melody notes, creating a new series of rhythms, and playing along with the band. You can practice this sort of thing on and on and on all night if you like. It's a lot of fun and there's a lot of creativity involved in it. I want you to apply this technique as well as others, the other techniques we talk about with the improvisations and with the duets, uh, playing along with the tracks in the book, and have a great time learning how to make your fiddle swing.